So let's get started with Flipgrid. Just creating my account tells you welcome to Flipgrid. Start my grid. There's my name. So I'm going to choose public. This is going to be the login information, flipgrid.com, tarleton0805. That's their code. You can add a password if you like, if you want a password protected, it's up to you. So anyone with the code can join and view the videos on your grid and a Microsoft or Google account is required to record. Your grid is ready. Let's get started. This is where you would copy it, share it through your Google Classroom, email it out. This is it right here. Or they can just type it in. These are quick links to share it to Google Classroom or Remind, or you can embed it. So here we go to our grids. So I've opened up there, so they started one for you. I'm going to edit the topic. I'm going to change their title. Welcome back. And say hello. So that's the title of my grid. Down here, it's already prompted them. Welcome to Flipgrid. Tells them how to start a grid to open their camera. and create a short video to say hello, share a fun fact about yourself. I can leave it like that. I can add more if I want them to say more. You can use this for responses to um, test questions. You can just general questions, however you'd like. The students can actually do their math work and hold it up and show it on a paper, a whiteboard. Um, great option. Topic tip. If you want to give them a topic tip, you would enter that there. I'm just going to leave it. It's pretty straightforward. Any attachments, if you want to attach something for them, another link, um, you can do that there. Allow students to reply via video to another student. I'm going to leave that on. That means students can leave a video to the other students, which is fine. Make your topic active. Down here we have our features selfies and videos. So if they want to just take a selfie, video titles, students can add a title, display the number of views a video has received. Students like that. Sticky notes allow students to add sticker, uh, sticky notes while they are recording. Some students are really shy and if they don't want to be on camera, I've allowed them to hold up a stuffed animal or something else in their video and they're talking. That's possible too it does take some practice being on video. Here we have video editing. Students can trim and rearrange their video clips. I'm going to leave this all on. They can do attachments. Allow students to like other students' videos. Let's turn it on. So this is where I can, for every grid, every response, I can uh, provide feedback. So I'm going to update my topic. So welcome back and say hello. So here I'm going to add a response so I can start the discussion. So right here we have options, video options. We can record our screen. We can add a video clip if we have it already recorded somewhere else and we want to record our video with audio here. That's turned on. So here we are, we are going to record. Welcome back. This is how we record. If I don't like that, I can redo it. So we go here, we record, we'll get a three second countdown. Hello, welcome back. This is me recording, pause. Go to next. Here it will play your recording. If you want to edit anything, you do have you or the end. You just drag it and drop it. So if I wanted to trim it to here, we're good. Confirm that's what we're trimming out. Right part. 
So the next screen that comes up, you take a selfie. And then with this selfie, I can add stickers. Here you have different options. You can draw, you can type. So I added a filter. That's the pixelated filter. Next. So I'm entering my display name, what I want my name to be, Mrs. Tarleton. Link, if I wanted to put a link. And I submit my video. So now when students log in, they will see that I have a video right here and they can add to it. So they would just, when they log in with the code, they're going to go to the plus sign like they were instructed to on the previous slide and add their slide.